that giant monster. What if it's still alive? Don't worry. If Drax is alive, I got money on that thing being dead. Whoa. He actually did it. Drax! Holy crap! You! You did that worm! Was that was you came out of it like you were inside it and then you, you came out? That's amazing. You doubted me, Peter Quill. <sighs> now, what's wrong, man? You look pretty down for a guy who just defied death. I was merely reflecting on the circumstances. The creature did not give up easily, our battle raged for hours. I felt proud, but I think I was happier butchering that hideous worm than when I got revenge on my daughter's killer. How could that be? I cannot find a reason for it. That worm has no importance to me. How can this battle mean more to me than ours against Thanos? Revenge doesn't bring you happiness. It just delays the pain a while. It's about what you want, not what you need. That is incredibly wise. I am not used to hearing such wisdom from you, Peter. In the midst of battle, I felt such exhilaration and nothing else. I spared not a single thought for Kamaria. I think I am afraid. That with each passing moment, her memory will continue to disappear. I fear that once I forget, Kamaria will die a second death. These feelings will not stop. I don't think that's true at all. Your memories of your family will last forever. Kamaria will always be a part of you. That is impossible. She is not a part of me. She is dead! I am not used to being afraid of anything. Oh, if only I were dead. These feelings would not cause me such distress. No matter how hard I try. You don't mean that, Drax. I mean, you can't. I was not completely honest with you before. I did wish to protect the Guardians, but part of me hoped that I might see my daughter again in the afterlife. If such a thing does exist, I do not know, but the thought of reuniting with my family... You can't escape that fate forever. Eventually you will see her, but that doesn't have to be today, Drax. Perhaps it is enough to have something to look forward to. Thank you, my friend. I feel more sure of my path forward. Hey guys, it's all clear. Bring the ship down. Now, let us return to your garbage heap of a ship. The galaxy is counting on us to stop Hala, and I have wasted enough time beside this rotting carcass. Hey, it might be a garbage heap, but it's our garbage heap. <laughs> Most of that garbage is yours, Peter. Now that I am here, let us go retrieve the cranky assassin. Cranky, huh? Oh, I assumed you would get me first as I am your favorite and most loyal friend, who has never done you any harm and has harmed all of your enemies. Repeatedly, I will list them in order of harm. Uh, you really don't have From to. From along the pincher, the alien who kicked you in the shin. You'll always be first in my heart. Your actions prove otherwise. And I could never fit in your heart. Oh, I missed this.
Welcome home, everyone. I am Root. Root says it's so good to see you all. Look at you, Peter. Somehow you managed to get us all back in the same room. I didn't think we'd see each other after last time. Unless, you know, we ended up in the same prison. Again. Yeah. First off, I wanted to apologize. I was acting like kind of a... Jerk? Jackass? Coward? Ooh, ooh, I am Groot? Yes. I am sorry for all those things. I wish I had better news for you, but, uh... Things have turned into a bad monster movie out there. Yes. Hala and the Eternity Forge have merged into a singular being. But where the relic granted life, Hala absorbs life. We accidentally created a supervillain. Go team. Yes. We created a worthy adversary. I am impressed with us. She has to be stopped before she strikes again. Hala contacted me. She said this won't end until we're dead or she is. There's only one thing we can do. I'll get the cyanide pills. I am Groot. Fine, fine, I'll just get mine. The Rodan is right. Our chances of victory have not improved since the last time we fought her. Hala is heading for nowhere. For us. I'm open to suggestions on how we approach this. Well, you've been on her ship before. I can analyze the readings from last time and see if there's a way to take out her weapons. When in doubt, look to the data. There's got to be a weak spot or two we can exploit. If Hollis' ship has a weakness, I know you'll be able to find it. Flattery will get you everywhere, Pete. I'll do my best. Hala isn't going to go easy on us. We'll have to prepare to take her down. I'll be on the bridge, Pete. Come talk to me when you get the chance. I am Groot. Thanks, Groot. Quill, I was waiting for you. I... I wish to apologize. For what? I realize I have not been the same since we slew Thanos. I was so consumed in my emotions that I uselessly sacrificed myself. My selfish act put the Guardians at risk. For that I am deeply sorry. And I hope you can accept my sincere apology. We all got a little emotional. You weren't alone in that. Of course, but it is in your nature to be emotional. You are sad and pathetic. I should be above such petty emotions. I will try to redeem myself once again in the coming battle against Hala. So, that giant space worm, how'd you kill it? It is a heroic tale that people will talk about for generations. I launched myself into the jaws of the worm creature, narrowly avoiding endless rows of teeth. I used my blades to slow my descent, shredding the creature's pulsating throat. Once within its noxious bowels, I detonated the drive cores of six dead ships. The explosion resulting from digestive fumes and flammable fecal matter was the most beautiful sight I have ever seen. Rex, <laughs> you are a beast. I can't believe you did all that. I agree. It was quite impressive. Peter, some may not know this, but when a creature is in its death throes, the sphincter relaxes. I was forced to swim through bile, gland juices seeped into my nose and mouth until I emerged, moist, reeking. I look forward to repeating this tale many, many times for the others. I'm sorry we left you for dead. I do not blame you for your ineptitude. I also thought I was bound to die. 
It was a reasonable misunderstanding. You ready for one last battle? I do not believe this will be our last battle. But for Hala, it will be. Later, Drax. What happens later? Hey, Gamora. Hey. I wanted to thank you again. What you said back at that training hall, I really appreciate it. If you hadn't have shown up when you did, I don't know what might have happened. I meant what I said. Every word. I know. And it means a lot to me. So, what was on your mind? So, um... I think that we should, you know, maybe talk. Just to talk about, you know... <laughs> you... And... Uh, me... <laughs> I mean... I just care for you. A lot. I know. Oh, you, you do? Uh, okay. Uh, so... How do you feel? Peter, I... Yeah, I, I uh, just, um... Maybe... Oh, yeah, sure. <laughs> yeah, of course, of course, yeah, sure. Yeah, we'll just, you know, we'll just uh, put a pin right in it. Just, just, just... That's the, that's the pin going... In the, uh, yeah. This for later. I'm, uh, worried about taking on Hala. I know what you mean, but the others look to you as their leader. Put on a strong face for them. Like this? Keep working on it. See you in a bit. How's it going, Bowie? No, oh, it's a good boy. Or girl. Do space worms even have a gender? Oh, hello, Peter. Is something wrong? No. Well, this isn't the way I imagined the prophecy of the Celestial One to turn out. On one hand, you destroyed the Eternity Forge, which I think was the right call. You do? But on the other hand, Hala is a horrible monster now. What if the prophecy is wrong? I'm afraid no matter what I do, I can't escape the Forge. I was sure that when the Celestial One chose the fate of the Forge, I would finally find peace. Oh, screw the prophecy. You have to make your own path. Don't let your life be dictated by some stupid fairy tale. Maybe you're right. I have to move on from the life I have been told to lead. Thank you, Peter. Was there something you wanted to ask? I'm glad you're back with us, Mantis. Honestly, I'm glad too. I'm sorry I left before. I was just caught up in the moment, and the strain was too much on my emotions. I know it wasn't for very long, but being alone and surrounded by strangers was overwhelming. If Groot hadn't found me, I don't know what I would have done. How are you holding up? It's... not easy. I can feel every life Hala takes. Now that she's merged with the Forge's power, I'm okay for now. But it takes a lot of energy out of me. Once this is all over, I'll be much better. 
Once this is all over, what are you going to do? I hadn't considered it. I think maybe I'd like to travel. There's so much I never got to experience when I was locked away. It would be exciting to live my own life instead of laying down inside a box. I should go. Lots of work to do. Of course. You still owe me 50 units from our last sparring practice. I do not. You cheated. Oh? Would you like a rematch? No. I am Groot. <laughs> I am Groot. Hey, thanks for showing me your memory. It put a lot of things in perspective. Hey, speaking of, what did you show him anyway? I am Groot. <laughs> oh yeah, Stash Lord. I almost forgot about that upper lip atrocity. I can't believe we managed to get everyone back. I am Groot. Groot says the only reason we're all back is because of you. I'm inclined to agree. Thanks, guys. You ready to kick some hollow butt? I am Groot. Heh. <laughs> Wish we were all as optimistic about it as you are. I'll see you around, buddy. I am Groot. You had me worried back there, Groot. Thought you were mad at me or something. <clears throat> I am Groot. Thanks, buddy. This looks like a pile of... Are these explosives? You know, if uh, this doesn't <laughs> go our way, I just want to tell you... Mm, I am Groot. Yeah, me too. What you got cooking? Yeah, about that. I've been pouring over the scans we got last time and we hit the Revenant. Good news is, I know what we got to do to take Hala down. Bad news is, I don't know how we're going to do it. We're gonna have to disable that super gun of hers if we want any chance of beating this. Simple, right? No more gun, no more dead people. I mean, we'll still have to deal with Hala herself. Okay. Now you have my attention. Right. So, far as I can tell, there's a number of key points on the ship to factor in. Here, 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 and here. That's as far as I've gotten. Okay. So lay it on me. What do you want to know? Huh. This place looks important. Yeah, that's the computer core, where the ship's system can be accessed. We need someone to hack into the computer. It's vital in getting that weapon offline. What's this? The main hall system. You might not remember, but it was filled with those cryopods. And because somebody decided to destroy the Eternity Forge, those meat freezers are offline. And all that power is getting diverted to the super weapon. Big old hallway like this? Great place for a distraction! What's this one? Those are the access ways to the computer core. Kind of like the hard drive for the ship. If someone don't cover those access ways, reinforcements will be sent straight to the core and overwhelm the hacker in no time. Is that the weapon? Right. I've actually got a plan for this one. It's got a couple of points on the outside of the ship where the energy is focused before it discharges. But get this, these points aren't guarded. They're just out there in the open. Probably because the Kree don't think anyone's insane enough to attack a super weapon head on. Sounds like a challenge. But I think we're up to the task. If by we you mean you, then yes, we are. Wait, what? <laughs> Me? You're the one with the jet boots. I got a slew of homebrewed explosives and deflectors. You'll plant the explosives on each of those energy points, and then when Hala fires the weapon again, boom, it'll blow itself up. And what if they fire the weapon before I'm done planting the deflectors? Just finish before that happens. 
We need our hacker to take down the shields and clear a way for you to plant the explosives. Someone to guard that hacker from any attack in Kree, and a third person to stage a distraction to keep them occupied. But as far as plans go, it's pretty insane. Then, uh... Suicidal? Yeah, that word. Ah, this is my favorite kind of plan. It's got all the adjectives. Mine too. Oh, I almost forgot. We need someone to grab Hala's helmet. Won't be able to trigger the weapon without it. It's probably in her quarters somewhere, so someone will have to steal it right out from under her nose. Or if it's on her head, right out from above her nose. What? I'm being serious. I know I got a record for pulling your leg, but we're actually gonna need that helmet. All right, I'll pick who does what. Hacker, protector, distractor, helmet thief, and me. Oh, baby, am I looking forward to this? <laughs> I am Groot. Really? Pete got in touch with his feelings? That actually worked? I am Groot. <laughs> I am Groot. If we're going to attack the Revenant, we all need a job to do. You're gonna be on protection duty. <laughs> I am Groot. Good call, Quill. Groot's always had my back, and I ain't even been shot once. Not once! I'll see you around, buddy. I am Groot. Hey, Pete. Thanks for sticking with me through all this. I was glad to have you at my side when everything was going wrong. Hey, I don't need you getting mushy on me, too. Groot already fills that role nicely. But you're welcome. You and Groot make up? Is the dream team back together? Yeah, we sat down and talked it out. I think we both said stuff we regretted. But we're good now. I am Groot. <laughs> back at you, buddy. Are you sure this plan is gonna work? Nope. But I'm okay with that this time. You guys got my back, and that's all I need. I've got a role in mind for you, Rocket. Oh, yeah? I want you to hack the computer. Logical choice. I won't let you down. Catch you in a bit. Mm-hmm. It is strange to have so many on the Milano now. Hey, Drex. We've got a plan of attack ready to go. I've just got to divvy up the roles. Of course. I trust you will grant me the most important job. We need someone to cause a distraction in the main hall and keep the Kree at bay. You think you can handle that? <laughs> My friend, if you need Kree to be killed, I will gladly kill them for you. Later, Drax. What happens later? So... Rocket has this plan. A just crazy enough to work one? Yeah, the usual kind. Not surprised. So what role do I play in this disaster? You're sneaky. So, why don't you stealth down there and steal Hala's helmet? Her helmet? All right. Sounds like a challenge. Leave it to me, Peter. Pete, looks like Hala just entered the system. We're gonna have to hurry. It's now or never. All right, guys, bring it in. So, here's the plan. We're making a run on Hala's ship to take that super weapon offline. I've assigned each of you an important role. Hacker, backup, distraction, and of course, someone to steal that helmet. I will install the explosive so when the trigger's pulled, the gun blows up right in Hala's face. This will require everyone to work together flawlessly. I do not believe I have seen that happen. Ever. 
Are you sure this plan will work? Yeah, we ain't exactly got a stellar track record when it comes to plans going our way. We're still here, aren't we? That means something's working. I trust each and every one of you to do what you do best. Now things will go wrong, they always do. But we'll figure it out as we go. We have everyone we need to do that right here. Uh-oh, here comes a patented quill spell. I mean, look at Rocket. Damn it. I should not have drawn attention to myself. What should I be looking at? Is there something stuck in his fur? He's the number one smartass in the galaxy. And damn proud of him. You should be. Your self-confidence crushing wit is legendary. Oh, Peter, over here. It's me, Drax, the Destroyer. I volunteer to go next. Oh, I could never forget you, big guy. Do not hold back. Tell me what I am. <laughs> oh, this should be enjoyable. A perfect murdering machine who, despite all odds, has become more bloodthirsty than ever before. You... You are too kind, Peter. I am getting emotional. And... Don't. And Gamora. Peter. The woman I love. Peter. The woman I like. Peter. The woman I would like to love if she were maybe open to that sort of thing. Don't answer that right now. D uh, and... What about... Mantis? What about me? I don't know what's going on here. An antenna rockin' lady whose love of life inspires us all. Thank you, Peter. I do love life. And all of you. And last, but certainly not least, Groot. I am Groot. The beating heart of the Guardians. <clears throat> I am Groot. Ah, right back at you, man. Sure, we have our differences, but we all share something in common. Arrest records. Trust issues. I am Groot. Dependency on oxygen-rich atmospheres to survive. Not exactly. We're all heroes. Despite our best efforts. We never asked for this responsibility, but we're committed to making this galaxy a better place. As long as we have each other, we can beat anything. Hala doesn't stand a chance. That was actually a good speech. Except for that love interest thing. Yes! Everyone is feeling inspired. Then let's rock and roll. Peter, before you came back for me, I was ready to give up on the Guardians, because I thought you already had. Thanks for proving me wrong. Okay, this is it. Here's hoping everything works out. We deserve it happening to us at least once. I've got your back, Gamora. Good. I've got yours too. Look sharp, guys. Holla's coming in hot. I am Groot. No, I ain't a tree. It's a phrase. You know, like, she's right on top of us. I am Groot. Yeah, that does sound worse. Hang on. Rubble coming your way. I'm, I'm almost to the, the computer. I am Groot. Hey, exercise is hard for me, okay? <laughs> Will, what happened? Did you die again? Nope. Totally alive. <laughs> Fly on, human. Guys, how's it going?
on him here. I'm all hacked in, plus an added bonus. Her computers now transmit some of your music to the entire ship. They're hearing that trash over the air intercom. <laughs> okay, Pete, you're good to go. Eject it and plant the bomb. One down. Star-Lord, how is your mission proceeding? It's going great. Ah, uh, it's going less great. About to have some company. Gotta hurry. If they fire that weapon now, I'm host. How's that protection going, Groot? up now. going in there, Peter? I'm on the last station now. Now would be a solid time for that distraction. I have not forgotten. There is an intercom button here. I shall press it. Greetings to all pathetic Kree warriors on this ship. This is Drax the Destroyer. I am waiting for you in the main hallway. Please come see me immediately. Peter, I believe I have gotten their attention. Well, looks like that got everyone's attention. Charges are planted. Pressed? Marginally. Once one of the Kree fires that weapon, the whole ship's gonna go, holy crap, that's a huge explosion. Uh, yeah, I think that distraction worked a little too well. There are no more Kree on the bridge. What? Looks like someone just volunteered to go hit that button then. <sighs> do I have to do everything myself? to get the helmet. Now what, Rocket? Launch it out an airlock. Wait a minute. You never actually needed the helmet, did you? Nope! But now Hala's gonna be looking for it, and it'll be spinning through space! <laughs> Rocket? What? Oh, come on! I am Groot. What do you mean, Holla's heading for the bridge? Hey, Pete, you better get ready. Here we go. For the How do you like that? This is now. <gasps>
Thanks for wanting to do this, baby. Can't imagine being in some sterile hospital. I'm missing out on this view. Just take it easy while we're out here, okay? I'm worried about you. I won't scare you like that again, I promise. That means you'll have to drive us back. You, me, stars. This is my happy place. Hey, you want to build it back up a bit? Can I use the lighter fluid? <laughs> Come on. That's for amateurs. Don't let it burn out. Hey, how else are we gonna roast marshmallows? There you go. You've almost got it. Huh, didn't even have to use the lighter fluid. Well done. No missing eyebrows for you tonight. Fire's... Fire's looking low, hon. You wanna build it back up a bit? The fire looks fine to me. Wait, what? It's practically... out. Strange. I, I could have sworn I. Mom. I, I. I shouldn't have brought you out here. I just wanted one last weekend with you. It was reckless. I wasn't thinking straight. No matter what happens, I'm glad we came. I'm sorry, Peter. I just didn't want you to forget who I really was. I don't want you to remember me like that, okay? I'm still me. You'll always be my mom. I could never forget that. I love you. Now, why don't you build up that fire a little bit, huh? It's starting to get low. Mom. so alive. We're happy for you, Drex, but I think I can smell my fur burning. Stay sharp. We don't know where. must be affecting Hala's mind. I've missed you so much. She doesn't know what's going on. I never thought I would see you again. <laughs> Baldi. I... I missed you too. Bardin. I wish I could have done more. Everything I did, I did for you. I wanted you back by my side. I wanted you to see how great our people could be. You saved me. 
I'm here now because of you. I wish I could touch you. I have become a monster. Look at me. I want you to remember the good things. You'll always be my mom. I can never forget that. the forge spread through her like poison honestly I feel bad about what happened to her I don't want to believe she was always like this did it. All is dead. The galaxy is saved. I know I should feel good about it, but... Ugh. We did the right thing, didn't we? We did what we had to do. That's all there is to it. You're right. I... I think I could use a drink. I am Groot. Yeah. Let's go. still open if there's booze on the shelf they're open uh, hey can I come out now is it over yes you can stop cowering like a baby and we're all pretty thirsty I know now isn't the best time but uh, you still haven't paid your tab are you kidding me hey guys got to pay the bills Dude, come on. We just saved your life. I mean, we just saved your bar. We saved the galaxy. Pick one. Any of those should more than pay our debt. You're right. You're right. Consider your tab forgotten. I'll start you a new one right now. <laughs> what is this? It tastes terrible. I... <laughs> I'm Groot? <laughs> Keep drinking, Mantis. It's good for you. Why is it that the things that are good for you taste so terrible? <laughs> oh. I am Groot. <laughs> Peter, now that this is all over... There's something I've been meaning to say. What is it? I... When I was trapped in that tomb, all alone, the only thing I cared about was my own freedom. And to obtain that freedom, I exploited memories of your mother. I lied to you. Made you think she was alive for my own benefit. I shouldn't have done that. I'm sorry. I used you. It was a selfish thing to do, and I feel terrible to have put you through that. 
I don't blame you, Mantis. You did what you had to do. I mean, in your shoes, I may have done the same thing. You are an extremely generous person to forgive others so freely. The more time I spent with you, the more I discovered what you've been through. I can tell you and your mother were very close. I could feel it in your heart, destroying the forge and losing the chance to see her again. That couldn't have been easy. I think my mom would have wanted me to move on from her. She always said, look forward, not back. Yes, I suppose. But still, what would you say if I told you I could give you a moment with your mother? What? A final chance to speak with her. See her one last time. What about the others? They all lost someone close to them, too. I owe you a debt, Peter. Freeing me from my prison, destroying the Eternity Forge. I can't ever repay you for what you've done. But I can give you this. And I want to give it to you. The remains of the Forge would be able to let me connect with someone who has... died. But only for a few minutes, and only if you want. Hey, 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 easy there. I got you. What, what, where am I? Hey, Mom. It's, uh, <laughs> it's me. P Peter? I... Peter! <laughs> I, I don't understand. You're here. Uh, I'm here. How is that even possible? I'd explain, but we don't have long. You and me being here together, this is only temporary. I see. Peter, <laughs> look at you. You're you're so tall. I mean, you're you're all grown up. And what the hell are you wearing? That jacket. It's ridiculous. This might come as a surprise, but I'm a legendary space adventurer now. You always did love outer space and Indiana Jones. So I guess you combined your passions. I, I, I don't know where to begin. I, I missed so much, so many years. I, I'm sorry, Peter. I wish I could have been there for you. I... I didn't want to leave you. To think you had to grow up all on your own, I... Well, it wasn't so terrible. I mean, I had Yondu, after all. <laughs> so, that pirate actually held up his end of the bargain, huh? I'm surprised. I hope he was a good role model for you. Yeah, something like that. I have to ask, you're not... You're not alone, are you? No. I've got people who care about me. I am so proud of you, Peter. I love you. I love you too, Mom. I can't stand goodbyes. Play me a song? Of course. I got just the one. Just gotta find it. It's somewhere here. It's... Nope, that's not it. Almost. Uh, I think it's after... Wait, hold on. Ah, gotta go back. Uh, there we go. 
Mm, good song. They all are. You picked them. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> we get it almost every night. And when that moon gets a big and bright, it's supernatural delight. Every border was dancing in the want to interfere. Thank you, Mantis. I owe you for that. You owe me nothing. I understand. If you need a moment. So, everything worked out in the end. <laughs> Don't you know? Everything works out for me. Shut up. You know what I mean. I'm proud of you, Peter. Yeah? You kept us together after all. I had many, many doubts it would happen. So many doubts. Oh, daily doubts. I honestly couldn't count them all. I mean, I didn't exactly do it on my own. I'll take some credit. Yeah, some. A bit. Just a, a tiny bit. <laughs> oh, never change, Peter. How about a refill? My hero. Everybody here is out of sight. But they don't bark and they don't bite. They keep things loose. They keep things alive. Every border was dancing in the moonlight. Hey, you two seriously need to tell us when there's a toast happening. I drink this toxic liquid in honor of the galaxy. May it stay guarded. What about to new friends? I've never had them before. I've got a better one. To vacation. I am Groot. Yeah, yeah, okay. Family's a good one, too. Hurry up, Pete. My arm's getting tired. To the best family a guy could ask for. Strangest looking one in the galaxy. Hey, I'll take it. Guardians, this is the Nova Corps. We have another situation. You have to help us. You're the first ones we called. Eh, the galaxy can wait. Yeah. Good luck with that. Everybody here is out of sight, but they don't bark.